He ventured into dense rainforests, climbed mountains in the Andes, and explored the Galapagos Islands, collecting and observing plants, animals, and fossils along the way. The Druids helped to organize the resistance against the Romans, and Queen Boudicca led a huge revolt in AD 60. But the Romans didn't mess about. They beat Boudicca in battle, destroyed the Druids, and brought the bulk of Britain under their control. From around 3800 BC, they started building communal tombs called long barrows and large earthwork enclosures, which may have been gathering places. It's possible that people built the communal tombs to worship their ancestors, perhaps believing that the dead could help the living. Later on in the period, they built more mysterious monuments, including the massive earth mound at Silbury Hill. More cleanups and better recycling alone won't solve plastic waste and pollution. We must shift our focus to innovations and business models that design out waste, keep materials in use and protect and restore our environment. We need a circular economy for plastic, in which it never becomes waste or pollution. The circular economy is an economic system in which materials are designed to be used, not used up. The vision for a circular economy for plastic packaging has six key points. Our modern society increasingly depends on complex networks to support our daily routines. Electrical energy is delivered by the power grid. The internet allows us to send information across the world in an instant, and our economies rest upon a complex network of interdependencies spanning the globe. Understanding these networks is at the core of a field of study we call network science. But how can we comprehend a network that's so huge and complex? Let's start by looking at one that's more familiar, a social network. By accounting for these joint interactions, we may be able to better understand group dynamics such as peer pressure or the formation of coalitions. Using a computer, we can even fit statistical models to a network or find nodes that have the largest number of paths going through them, which would be very hard to do by hand. And of course, plenty of investors are simply ready to sell valuable stocks and pursue personal interests. All these variables cause day-to-day -day noise in the market, which can make companies appear more or less successful. And in the stock market, appearing to lose value often leads to losing investors and in turn losing actual value. Human confidence in the market has the power to trigger everything from economic booms to financial crises. The full scope of a nuclear detonation is almost unimaginable. Hopefully, no one will ever experience another of these catastrophic incidents. But there is a scientifically supported plan of action that could save hundreds of thousands of lives in the area surrounding a nuclear explosion. So what is this plan, and what exactly would it protect us from? To create their destructive blast, these weapons harness the power of nuclear fission, in which an atom's nucleus is split in two. Now all I do is worry. Am I a good dad? Can I keep the kids safe? Can I keep a roof over their head? You know, I would do anything just to see them grow up. Walk them down the aisle. See their kids. Fuck me, you know, this is the, this is the fucking trouble with sitting on the toilet for so long. One sock raves. <laughs> the other listens to live jazz in dimly lit blue lounges, having sepia-toned conversations. Basically, they're not the same sock. <laughs> 